one thing you may want to kind of trim the vegetation sure. around them a little bit. Yep. Um, I don't know what all this. Stuff I usually is. just kind of go in and pull it down a little bit when I when I come in. But yesterday, like this, I, yesterday like I didn't. These yeah. Sumacs usually come out pretty easy. Yeah. All right. You want to go in? Which one first? Here. Well, if we take a look at this, I'll let you do this since I don't know how much to do here. Maybe I should have put two of those things in there. No, that's okay. Just a little smooth. Like, it doesn't have to be much. Like, okay. there's not a ton of activity up here, you can see. <clears throat> and anything that I do that I should change, tell me. Okay, yeah, we'll just see. This is a different setup than I'm used to. Okay. So, so there's nothing, nothing really going on in there. Yep. And I was going to ask if I should take these off and just take them down to where they're actually using them, but... Yeah, so like, again, this doesn't seem to have much going on in here either. Mm -hmm. So there's comb, so it, if they were active... I don't see anybody in here at all. Yeah. So here, you've got honey. Because you've got, do you have an, yeah, you've got an excluder there, so this is a super. So yeah, I mean, just like, we can kind of start with basics. So, so this should all be honey. The queen should not be in here, right? Sure. So Correct. like we're not worried about damp hurting the queen or killing the queen mm -hmm. when we're messing with this. Um, but what you typically do is kind of separate them like this to break that seal. So cut in, and, it, and if you can't cut in there, you can just, just pry right between the frames like that okay. to get it. And then <clears throat> it's a lot more important on the frame, on the frames that are down here, because the queen is down there somewhere. Sure. But. This one's really wedged in there. Yeah. There, and then I use, I don't know what you've got. Yeah, you've got a heck you've of a, a tool. Really <laughs> you've got a heck of a, that's, that's something, but it's got all of the different. Yeah. So I, I really like this one, because you can get in there sure. and pry that up like that. So that's how I. Can we take more than one out at a time, or does it matter? Oh, I, yeah, we'll just go one at a time, maybe. Okay. Just, just so we can kind of go slow. So then the other thing is, as you're, as you're pulling these up, you got to try and be really careful straight up and, and, and slow. Them. Because if there's a bunch of bees, now you don't, the population up here isn't extreme right sure. now. But if it's packed full and you're pulling that up at an angle Start or too fat, you're going to squish them okay. and you're going to piss them off, right? Yeah. And then you, all of a sudden, and you can tell almost right away. Yeah. And I, I still do it, so it's not like um, that I've gotten over it. I'll pull it sure. up at an angle and all of a sudden I got bees in my face because I pissed them off, yeah, right? Yeah, just right killing so, my friends. Yeah. yeah, so you've got honey here, so that you can see how dark that is. That okay. seems like it's dirty or something. Yeah, it seems like it's old and gross. It something. is, but it, I mean the comb itself is dirty. You can see the comb sure. is just old. Sure. And dirty, but that that honey in there, I bet, is a lot lighter than than we're expecting. Um, and some of this might be, I mean, some of these frames may have had some old stuff. In old. There too. On, yeah. I can't remember what. Yeah, he, I can't remember either. What he provided. So. Do you want me to stack them over here? Sometimes. Sure. Or is it bad to stack them on the other? Oh, I think you. I think it'd be okay. But okay. it's a good good thought. So. So you said, so these are the little ones, so the, these are the, f the females. Yep. And We're, I saw one of the big ones just a minute ago. Okay. I don't know where he went. Ah, right here. It's one of the bigger ones. And so that's one of the male drone ones? Drones, okay. yeah. Yeah, and drones really, um, you know, there's, I'm sure there's a bunch of technical stuff, like reasons uh, to keep them around, but sure. really what they do is mate with queens. Okay. I mean, is the, is the bottom line. They, there's, there's a lot of research I know about health. Of, what do you got? Is that, is that a queen? It is. Okay. It's, it's um, what we would call like a practice cup. Okay. Um, so they, they build them all the time. Mm -hmm. They keep, usually keep a few. They're kind of emergency backups. Okay. If, um, you can knock them down if you want. Um, some people do. If they, if there's nothing in there, then it's not a problem. Okay. Then they're not. But if you look in there and you see, you know, jelly like sure. the, the white, then there's a and a larva in there. Then obviously they're it. planning on. Um, there's okay. a problem. They're planning on on um, superseding or they're planning on swarming. Oh, okay. Um, so so like this one now didn't have the yellow frame yeah, in there. Yeah. And they still built it out decent. Yeah. Um, any 
any problem with doing it this way? Like with extracting honey, does that make it more difficult when when it doesn't have that yellow frame in there? Or yeah, it? It, it'll, I think it'll be more difficult as sure. far as, um, you know, you, you have potential for that to break off sure. and just come out. Yeah. Then you just have a bunch of beeswax after you've um, gotten okay. the honey out of it. Which seems like is valuable And as well. that's valuable too. It sure. just means that they have to rebuild this whole frame. That's okay. all. So can you can you buy just the, the yellow frame to insert in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just called foundation. So foundation, you can just, okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. And this, I'll remember these terms eventually. Yeah, it's foundation. And this is a, I think this is a medium sized frame. They even make frames that are even a little bit more narrow that are called okay. Um, shallows. Okay. Um, and so that's a medium frame. That's a typical frame for honey. Okay. For a honey super. This so. one doesn't seem like it seems pretty light, but it's yeah, a there's lot no, of... There's nothing you can, you yeah. should see yeah. a glisten. Yeah. yeah. So there's some, there's some honey in there. How do you tell if it's honey or nectar? Well, it, it's the same. Same thing, just one yeah. turns into the, the nectar turns into the honey. Yeah. Okay. Yep, they just dry the nectar out Okay. Um, into honey. So. so is that why people are getting these moisture readings? I hear yeah. people talk about moisture and stuff. Yep, and, yep, okay. you gotta test the, so if you're gonna extract, you gotta test, even capped, so um, the rule of thumb was always capped honey, the bees know that okay. the, the moisture is correct. It's not, they're not always perfect, right? Sure. So like the number is 18% okay. is what people really go by. Now in Europe and stuff, I think that they even go up to like 20%. Okay. But um, here, the number that people are really confident about is if you're, if 18% or less moisture, then it's not gonna ferment, it's gonna uh, be good okay. forever, you know. So fermenting is the issue when it's too much. Fermenting, moist, it ferments. yeah, okay. yeah, because crystallization is natural yep. process and it's still honey, it just yep. changed forms, yeah, right? Yeah, you just warm it up and it yeah, goes yeah. back to normal. Okay. But if it um, ferments, then it's gone bad. Okay. And you can still use it. I, say, I see people selling fermented honey. You can make mead out of it. Yeah. You can, you, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so there, <laughs> so it's not, um, it's not, completely wasted but it's not honey anymore it's sure, fermented okay. honey yeah so everybody loves mead yeah there you go you especially at the restaurant try, try making have you ever made your own i haven't like well we just last night we just uh made um blackberry liqueur for yeah, the first time we went out and we had enough blackberries on our this is the first year we've gotten blackberries so we got enough blackberries to get the two pounds that that uh, we needed to make the to make the liqueur. So yeah. we'll see. We got to go down and stir it every three days, and oh really? We got, we got a gallon of it, so we'll see. Oh cool. Yeah, <clears throat> that's really cool. And what you said, uh, a month or so? Yeah, it's about a month before it to, to be done. So okay, so here <laughs> here's a problem. Okay. So that's brewed. Okay. So th I mean that's so this right here is larva so that's that oh yeah that little worm so there's some there's some yeah but we're some. above we're above the queen excluder okay so we the queen should be down below but somehow the queen is oh, getting up here to okay. lay um the other issue that we might have is there a chance that this is old no i mean those those the larva the, still, worm, the are, white worm looking things are, are, are new are new but is any chance that this brood is old that should be cleaned out they should if they're dead okay. and old they should have uncapped them and cleaned them out okay but what's to do with the bee face sticking he's out coming there? out okay that's they're a just one's coming they're out. just okay. emerging they, these okay. guys are just coming out you can see this guy too yep he's just emerging oh that one's moving okay. yeah 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 like that guy's not moving so I, th this guy here wasn't moving he's so. not moving he may be stuck he may be dead oh, he yeah, kinda, little, little bcpr he kind of twitched there for a second. I don't know if he's stuck. Um, yeah, you've got a few here that are not like this guy. Yeah, they're squishy still, but they they do seem they do seem dead. To move on to the the uh, next stage. <laughs> they do seem dead, so I'm yeah. not sure huh. what. Um, but yeah, that's so that. So that means the queen got up here somehow. Well, or we have a second, or, or we have second queen. Can you have a second queen in the same? You can. Okay. You can. That I I know that people talk about having a second queen. That could could be, or you have a laying worker. Okay. So worker bees can lay eggs. <laughs> they only lay drone. Okay. And if they if um, they don't have a queen, if the queen died for whatever reason, 
um, and they are out of a queen for a certain period of time and mm. they've lost all the pheromones of the queen, mm. a worker or multiple workers we'll start trying will start laying eggs, okay. but they only lay male eggs. Okay. So that may be what we have here. That may be a sure. laying worker. Sure. That laid okay. cuz that's all those are all drone. They're bigger. You can see that they're bigger yeah. bigger size. Yep. Um, even in this frame you can see the the um, size of the cells over here. Yeah. This is honey compared to these guys. Compared to these, these are bigger okay. because they have to be bigger for drones. So God, those I, are all, I, if I didn't have them next to each other it'd be hard for me to to see Tell the, the difference? Size, size difference. Yeah, they usually have that kind of bump. They're kind of sure. bumped out too, okay. typically. The bigger. Are, are, are the are the other ones bumped out like that? The the non-drone? No, the regular, the worker bees are um, a lot more flush. Okay, so more like this then. Yeah, yeah, they would have just, a, see how this is kind of sunk in? They yep. would have just a like a okay. slight um, okay. elevation to them. But it's just a space thing. Yeah, so that that is indicative of something you know i think okay. did you say that this is the one that you thought had a whole bunch of drones in it the male the uh, big, yeah the this big one male. had a lot of has a lot i mean you see there's a lot of these big big honkers yeah in here so you may have a laying worker situation okay. in here and um i am not the best person i had an issue this year with laying worker um and it took me uh kind of you know months to figure to get something done okay what'd you end up doing i ended up sh i ended up shaking out the hives um and just trans transferring all the bees to the other hives that i have okay um so i ended up i couldn't the problem so you can buy queens sure um but the problem is that they um they think that they have a queen oh because they there's brood in here sure and there's larvae in here. So you put a queen cell in here, they'll just they'll just kill, kill it. it. Okay. And so that's the issue. Mm -hmm. um, we can try. We, well, let's get in. We'll get deeper in here and see what we got. Sure. Um, it could be the queen got up here. The other thing is like the foundation, the wonky. When they build that wonky comb on mm -hmm. foundation, they almost always build drone size mm -hmm. comb. And it throws them off. So even if you have a good laying queen mm -hmm. on that foundation, they usually build those bigger size and then it's all drone. Oh, then, okay. So we'll dig down in here and see what we have if we have sure. worker, um, worker brood down there or what we got going. Okay. I'll let you pull it out because you know what you're looking at. Oh, that's fine. You can pull it out. This looks like honey and this is a newer frame so it's. So that's all capped honey. Okay. So that's a nice frame. Both Would it sides. normally be completely full or is it normal for it to be missing corners? Again, and because of that foundation, they really, um, they don't like it. Oh, so okay. they've drawn this out um, and they often kind of leave, they leave okay, that. so that's normal. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, you know, you, you extract this and you put it back in. Um, or you leave it in here. Eventually they'll draw it out. You know, you can see that they've started to draw this. Yeah, I was gonna say, what are they doing here? They just- Cleaning up. This got stuck to when, oh, we, when okay. we pulled them apart. This was actually glued over here. Okay, so they're just cleaning that up already. Yeah, that just was our damage going, in, going okay. in the hive. So now they're gonna mess with that and either eat it or recap it. Move or, it or whatever, yep. whatever they do. Yep, so you can see that they're starting to draw this out. Sure. So they're working on it slowly, okay. but it's just not, I guess not a priority or it's not something that they feel like, what do you got, are you looking for something? No, I'm just looking down there. I'm, it's just curious that all the cleaning and stuff that they do, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize, yeah, they're very tidy little buggers. They are, buggers. they are, yeah. So like when you see those dead, those are newly dead. They, sure. will, they will clean that. That's interesting. They will clean all that out. Um, yeah, one Varroa mite um, trick that some people use that I haven't used is put foundation or comb that um, that specifically that intentionally has the bigger cells. Okay. And for drones. Okay. And get it all laid up with drones because drones take a couple extra days to mature. Okay. And so the mites love the drones because they can go in there. Uh, um, and what they do is they reproduce inside the inside the cell. That's how they reproduce. Okay. And they start eating on the, uh, the baby bee, bee that's okay. in there. If the drone, uh, if they're in a cell that is capped longer, they can make more ba baby varroa. Oh. So they they particularly the bigger ones. Yeah. Okay. They huh. just they just know that. So some people put uh, uh, 
a frame of that in here. Okay. Get it all full of drones. Hopefully, oh, most of the mites go to uh -huh. that frame, and they literally take that out, put it in the freezer, kill all the drones, but also kill all the varroa. Sure. Put it right back in here, and the bees clean all the clean dead out. Up. Interesting. And so that's hmm. one thing that people do. All yeah, right. So I see same down here trying to get me. <laughs> so same thing. You can see the difference. Like this is pretty obvious how big these cells are. Yeah. So and that's Compared all to those ones. Yeah. And again, this is all drones. Okay. So this is probably laying. This is my guess is oh yeah you got real real good indication of a laying worker situation. Okay. Do you see eggs in here? Can you see the little white rice yep. things? Yeah. But you see like two in a cell. Sure. Uh, yeah, that's, that's well that's a mite. Oh you yeah. see a mite even? Yeah, I think so, right? And this one here. Okay. I think. Is that a mite down in there? Well there's a, I see I see larva in there. I didn't okay. I didn't see a mite in there, okay. but I, I but I may, maybe I don't know what I'm looking at. So here's another little trick you can just gently blow on them. See if they move. And they'll kind of move out of your way. Okay. So yeah, let's see. Um, like all all of these cells have multiple eggs in them. Okay. Which is laying worker behavior. Huh, interesting. Um, like a good queen will lay one egg per cell. Ah. Uh, so this is, so what you have is a laying worker situation, which means okay. that we do not have a queen in here. Okay, anywhere, down here either? No. Okay. I mean, it would be surprising because these are so close. Sure. That they, that the, the um, worker bees would think that there's no queen sure. and start laying. Okay. Because they would smell the pheromones from, so. so so is this a, a queen cell That's here? That's a queen that it looks like an attempt at a queen cell. Because there's one down there, two on the on the bottom. Yeah. That another little nobule sticking out there. Sure. So that it, it is interesting. I think I think that's probably. Um, I, um, I can't guarantee it because I'm not an expert, but I would say that this is probably, even though they built it like that, it's mm -hmm. probably still just a drone. Oh, okay. Maybe just because it's on the edge. Yeah. I think it. I. Um, yeah, maybe it's just that. Maybe okay. it's just um, a queen cell. It's kind of in between size. I think a queen cell would be bigger than that okay. also. So, but yeah, so this is very indicative of a laying worker situation. And so we'll kind of talk about what we can do. We may have to figure out how to combine these two hives, honestly, okay. at this point. Okay. Um, I don't think, and like you can tell, the population of this hive is pretty low. Low, yeah. And it's low because there's no queen and all these drones, and because you have two eggs in there, a lot of those don't come mature right. You know, there's two eggs in a cell, and mm -hmm. um, that's not gonna work out. So what what gets laid and what gets, what emerges is gonna all be males. Okay. And so you're not gonna have workers um, so that's likely that what. Drip in there. That's yeah. honey. Yeah. Yeah, honey. If Go ahead. A, if I wasn't a complete chicken, I'd uh, taste it, but. Oh, you can. I, I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> you can taste it. I don't want to take enough of my stuff off yeah. to taste it. Yeah, I mean, these guys aren't aggressive at all. No, they, they're decent today. They I, know you're here. Yeah, there. Now, that is a beautiful frame. That's all capped honey. Nice. That's very nice. That's exactly what, you know, almost wall to wall. That's yeah. beautiful. And again, it looks dark because the comb is old. Okay. But that honey is going to be great. So. Fantastic. And is the other side basically the same? Uh, not as much. Okay. But and this, but, this, but this might be old. Looks like. Looks but like. That's new. I mean, it's all glistening in there. Yeah, yeah. So they're filling it up, but. Still, yeah. that's one frame out of. They just don't have the population to do sure. it to do any of that stuff because sure. because of the. Go guys. Because they don't have a queen, so I'm sure. <clears throat> that looks like that's honey on this side. Yeah, they are noticeably less angry today. Okay, interesting. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. At of least less... it's clean and smooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's all. That's where this is getting capped. Honey, yep, right? capped honey on that side. Smells so good. Mm -hmm. I brought those old frames in the house or in the garage last night, and every time I walk by, it <laughs> smells so good. <laughs> and this one's pretty light. This one's got about nothing on it. Okay, that makes sense. 
interesting. There you go, guys. Let's see, now you made me squish you. Go there. Yeah, so we're pretty late in the season to, to try and do something as far as remedy this situation. Okay. From my experience. Sure. Because you gotta get, you gotta get a, you gotta try and get a queen in here. Mm -hmm. And then she has to lay this all up. You know, we're- Make it hers. Mid, yeah. we're mid August. Yep. Um, to try and get this population up to something that can make it through the winter. Sure. I'm not, I'm not um, confident that we can do that. Sure. And so the best situation might be, um, and we can we can talk about it. We can dig. Well, we'll dig through here and see what we got going on, just to see because sure. it's good to good to learn. Yeah. But then, you know, what I'm thinking right now is we would shake this out and try and get them to combine with Into that. that one? Okay. And literally just. You shake this out, get all the bees out of here, take mm -hmm. all this equipment away, mm -hmm. give them the only option of going mm. into that hive okay. and combine them with that. Okay. Um, that would be my guess. But um, so, yeah. So yeah, I guess we can get those frames maybe back in here okay. for now. I think. Who's at my house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one's significantly heavier. So anyway, start taking them, taking so many of them out, you can tell the weight difference. And oh yeah, I can see why these why people use the medium ones. I yeah, they get really heavy. They get it's really oh. heavy. Just a medium box full of. I mean, yes. Yeah. Even this size. Yeah. I don't know, fifty. Could be 50 pounds of honey in there. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. So. Yeah, I didn't, you know, you see people post, oh, I got, you know, 75 pounds of honey, and I'm like, man, that's a lot of honey, but I, now I can see why yeah. you get so much out of it. Yeah, out yeah. of one, yeah. Pretty Even, impressive. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's take wherever you want to, let's take this off and go get down into the bottom. Yeah, when I come through and mow, I don't have my space man. Oh yeah, I know. Get <laughs> buzz by as quick as possible. Oh yeah, they get so angry when you come by here with the lawnmower. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Take this off? Yeah. I'm not trying to launch any of you guys here. Yeah, and just... I can fly away, but. I, yeah, you're good, thank you think. There you go. Oh, I see, so you've got the inner, you've got the, inner oh. cover on there too. Yeah, I okay. didn't know, man. I I know, but that so that's not not good. It's just not, not not helpful. It's Yeah, look at all this. This is trash. just this is just all all their trash. It's all their trash. Huh, yeah, interesting. If they're chewing on to get in to get honey or whatever, if they're chewing cappings off, that's Yep, so I was this looking is, to see if I did that on this one too. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. No. Nope. Yeah, so that's just goes on part of the problem the then. The top. Right? Well, yeah. Sure I mean, it doesn't it, help. It really limits yeah what they can do up here yeah i don't know why I'd, i wonder why i did that be in that with that uh excluder on there it's like the whole the whole excluder is screened out there you go you got a bunch of honey in there yeah there's all your trash yeah so that's pretty typical they they glue that all down hmm, so you can see some there's some drone so honestly because of the way this was set up, yep. you got such a minimal hole there. There might actually be a queen. Change in your opinion, you know? Then. There might okay. actually, you know, because they might be the top box might be so separated from the bottom sure. box that they might not have felt like there was a queen. So it'll be interesting to see. Let me set that over here. Are you good Where, with it? Wherever. Doesn't matter to me, man. Yeah. Looks like a bunch of uh, lemon slices. Oh yeah. Uh, not that I've got cocktails on my mind, but. <laughs> I lit that up last night to try those new little pellets I got. Yeah. I lit it in the garage. Holy crap. You don't realize how much is coming out of there. Yeah, yeah. 
and what I'm sure it's pine. It's probably pine, so it's got a nice. I don't know. They're nice. It's it. really just a little tiny pellet that's yeah. wrapped in paper, and it almost looks like cotton. But it, yeah, it just smolders. It doesn't want actually light. It just once it starts going, just glows orange and smolders. And yeah, I yeah. don't know. It's probably where it, I don't know. We're probably, I don't know what it's made out of. But we're probably out. Did you bring any more with you? I, I didn't. Uh, okay, that's all right. It might have gone out too. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, because. They're, they're calm enough, but sure. but it's nice to you can kind of drive the bees down because we would want to clean like clean uh, clean this off. Okay. Do so, you want me to go get? You want me to go get more of those to? I get. I mean, I, if you want to, it doesn't matter to me, man. If you want, you're to. the expert here. I've got no idea what I'm doing. Well, otherwise we just we just kind of just what do you do with just toss the stuff anywhere? If you want to keep wax, if you want to start keeping wax, do you want to start keeping wax? Oh, is there a way to clean it? Render it down. Yeah, you. You um, heat it in water. You don't boil it, but you heat okay. it in water, get it to melt, mm -hmm. and then you run it through filters. Filter like panty, like pantyhose, or like uh, okay. pa even people do it through paper towel, and sure. get all the. You'll get really golden, beautiful wax from something that starts out really? looking like that. Oh yeah, huh. oh yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So if you want to start keeping it and then yeah. figure out what you, so I would just just pile it there for. Yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. That's, I'm terrible at it as far as remembering, but if you bring a little bucket with you and yeah. just as you're cleaning, just throw it all into huh. that bucket, keep it with you and then, okay. and it doesn't matter if it's got bee parts in it, honey in it, whatever, when you render it down, you'll okay. filter all that out, so. Yeah, so, and this, yeah, this is all honey, man. legs. <laughs> See, now that looks like, oh, broke that off there. I can tell you the third time. <laughs> Ask, tell, make. Street rules. <laughs> Street rules beekeeping. <laughs> yeah. Ask, tell, make. Uh -huh. Hard to blow through that screen. <laughs> I know you're just eating lunch. All right. I'm so, sure the longer you do this, the more uh, I'm too careful. I'm sure. Oh yeah. I mean, you end up you end up killing a few every yeah. every time. When you put the boxes back together, you end up squishing them sure. a few. Okay. So the the thing that I have neglected a lot and I'm really trying to focus on. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Tag tag of some kind. <clears throat> so when you're in a box that you think the queen is in, mm -hmm. you want to be really careful. So typically in a typical nest, the this will be honey and this will be honey. Okay. And maybe even the inside too will be honey. Now this is a smaller box, like the ones I have are 10 frame, these are eight frame. Okay. Um, and so typically the queen will not be on this frame, which okay. is a frame that then would be nice to remove that one first. Okay. So then you do what we just did. You just, you try and break that seal. A few little guys would get out of the way. <laughs> yep. You feel bad for a while, and then you. Yeah, that's what I figured. And then you stop feeling. Been doing it for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little less sympathy. Yeah, so I would pop it, pop it here, and then I would pop it, in, yeah, in there. Make sure it's nice and there. Now dig it, yep, dig it up. I would stick that tool on the outside. Okay. See that hole right yep. there? I would stick it in there, because otherwise you're jamming it into the sure. foundation, okay. whatever. There just wasn't any bees on the outside, so sure. I'm trying to save them. And then you just pull it straight up and, like slu and slow. Like there you go. Perfect. So now, honey, what we thought would be out there. Yep. Not a ton of honey, but so that's all pollen, that dark stuff. That's okay. pollen. So. And that's food. Additional, yeah, additional resources for them. So honey and pollen. A little bit of honey, capped honey on that side. And that's. Pretty normal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Would it normally be full, you think? It should it should be okay by by this point in the year that, sure. sh that should be full of something okay yeah so yeah, this population isn't terrible 
sure. honestly. So again, we might be okay. Yeah, I would just set that aside somewhere. On yeah, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. And we can, if you if you're comfortable, you can shake shake them off. But okay. But it, it doesn't matter to me. I just don't know what's appropriate. So yeah, yeah, just shake them in there. They don't really go in there, Steve. Well, they fly a little bit, but see, they, these you know, normally that's where I get the hell stung out these of me. Aren't mad, these aren't mad yet, but we'll see. Yeah, yep. <laughs> All right. Now then, then what you want to do is you want to slide this one over to the space so okay. that this is how we're trying to avoid squishing uh, the queen. So we now separate that. So then now we're not rubbing them, rubbing the frames into each other, into okay. each other anymore. Yeah, I'm just, you gotta, yep, yeah, there you go. So now there's enough space there. Sorry guys. Yep, I know you're angry at the little tool. Okay, so now we have, there's drone. Oh yeah, now they're coming at my face now. Ah, <laughs> one. You always got a couple that yeah. are going to be mad at you no matter what you do. So you can see the size. Yep. Those are drones. Okay. Um, you've got larva, larva in there. Um, I haven't seen, I can't see eggs really as far as like the whole double egg sure. problem, but this okay. is drones. Okay. Uh, almost exclusively. I don't see any workers in there, so. We're still on the theory, from my mind, that we've got laying worker type situation. The other thing is like this kind of shotgun yep. pattern. See how they're just like laid up. Now, mm -hmm. some of that could be if they emerge and they emer emerge at different times. Sure. So it might look bad, but then you look back in there and there's eggs. You've got a lot of larvae in there, um, but again, these all Look like doubles. Look mo no, they don't look like doubles. They look mostly just because of that bigger um, cam. That or might be. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. You have you have you have something going on. You do. Ha I mean, you do have somebody laying. Sure. So now either you set that one down, or what I typically do is put this one back down in here, so then I don't have to keep shaking bees off. And the point of shaking the bees off, from my opinion, is that if the queen happens to be on this frame, sure. we put it in the grass, she crawls off somewhere, and now maybe yeah. we lost the now queen, we just right? Lost her, so okay. now if we just keep sliding these over. Okay. So, again, Facebook, people say you put them back in the same order. Is that a Yeah, huge some deal? people, I try to often because my frames can be kind of wonky too, and so sure. they, they only fit together oh, one okay. way. But I don't know that it, I would, I would stick with the honey on the outside, you know, and if you have Everything a good the middle. brood and stuff in the middle. Okay. But I don't worry too much about specifically, like this is frame one, two, three, like keep okay. them in exact order. Okay. Um, I think that it probably messes with them a little bit because the configuration in there was perfect and now you flip frames and, but we do, you know, the people who have multiple hives, they're switching frames to try and, and I've boost, seen that too. boost yeah. one colony or the yeah. other. Like one looks a little bit weak. So, so now you're, and not only are you not putting them in the right order, but you're pulling frames from other hives. And well, so. worry about like the mites and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, I suppose if they're next to each other, it really doesn't matter. But. Yeah, you're, that, from what I understand, um, most people consider if one hive is infested, they all are. They all should okay. be treated at least. Sure. So even if you're flipping frames around, you're, you're probably treating uh, but it is it is a consideration, you know. Sure. If you have one that's infested, may, um, and the others seem like they're they're good, maybe that hive you know, you need to, to do something with that hive, sure. maybe. So so yeah. So I would loosen this one up and slide it over, and then pop it out and take a look. Do you want to loosen this one? I'll go grab more smoke. If yeah, sure. Whatever. Or do you think we not need it? I don't know. So far, we're doing pretty good. Okay. We'll keep going. Because they're not like they're not in our face. I'm just used to these things getting so angry at me. It's also a little bit cool, you know, if you're doing this at 85 degrees out, sure. they're also gonna be more mad and whatever. We started off, um, I don't know, it's it's warming up, but it's probably only 65 or something. You want them to make them angry? <laughs> no, it doesn't seem to. Maybe if you do it too much. <clears throat>
I hear you by my face. <laughs> All right, what do you what do you see in there? A lot of empty cells. Okay. A little bit of honey on the ends, but not much. Are you seeing any eggs in there or anything? Uh, yeah, a couple, but they're what I think are doubles. I don't. I can't tell if they're just curled up or if they're. Or if they're doubles. Okay. Oh yeah. So like, um, I'm not uh, just. There's a couple double, here that triple. I were doubles. They lay them on the the workers. They lay them on the side walls and stuff. They don't okay. lay them straight in the middle. So yeah. So it looks like we got layer laying worker all the way all okay. the way through the. And more indication of no queen. Of no queen, sure. yep, exactly. Okay. So. so now there's a big uh, thing growing out here. Yeah, they just. Should we pull this guy out before we put this one back in, or? No, I It sure. doesn't matter. Sure. Just to clean it up? Yeah. I, I don't know, I just. Yeah, it's. Thinking destruction here. Death and destruction is the same. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a big chunk that I would scrape off. Maybe follow me, chase me to my house to get this stuff back, aren't they? <laughs> I need to. I know what you're trying to do. I see you trying to sting my face. Why do you hate me so much? Why do you hate me so much? <laughs> I do. You can see him. Pushing their little rear end and I, trying to stick my face. I know. Well, the, the, there are guard bees that, like, they really that's kind of their job. That larva squirting out of there. Yeah, that? that's some s squished larva that I took out there. Oh, fine, stay there. Yeah, so same. And I mean, there's a bunch that are gonna emerge here so but that's that's why you're seeing so many drones is because they're laying only drone only drone cells there which is indicative of no queen yeah okay uh, indicative of no queen and laying worker so okay. on top of that you've got laying the laying worker situation so like yeah so and you can have one lay I mean I think you can have multiple who, they're workers, right? So you can't, you're not going to really tell which one is the culprit that's laying eggs. Sure. So, it, and it could be, could be multiple. So, um, that are actually laying. So, yeah, that's the. If it was earlier in the season, um, like I had this issue months ago, I tried shake. So what they they say one way to do it is you shake them out. Um, 25, 30 yards away, mm -hmm. like literally just take the whole box over there, shake everything out. It's kind of a mess, you got bees everywhere. Bring the box back here, put it, and apparently the, la the workers that are laying, mm -hmm. they can't fly, and they won't come back. Really? And so you just leave them out there to die, ah, okay. and you're hoping, but then you gotta do something. You have to put a frame of eggs in here because sure. you don't have any way for them to create a queen. It, yeah. Now I tried that, it didn't work for me. There's another way where you can combine them um, and uh, with newspaper. And so as the bees choose through the newspaper, they kind of get used to each other. They get uh, used to, okay. um, and so that. I read somebody, something about somebody putting newspaper down. Yeah, to combine hives, okay. you can do it that way. Okay. And then, because if you combine two hives, especially if they're, well, so like, I, th I think the situation would be the same here. They think that they have a queen. Sure. So if they now smell a new queen, like if you combine these hives right now, mm -hmm. I think it would be a problem because I think they may go and kill that queen mm -hmm. too. And then you're totally queenless. Yeah. Um, so the theory with the newspaper is that they're supposed to kind of get used to each other. The pheromones slowly mix. Sure. And then they accept that queen. Okay. 
Um, before we do it, maybe I'll pull up YouTube and just double check, double check. that that's the way. Since we only have two hives to work with here, yeah. I don't want you to all of a sudden be queenless be queen yeah, 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 yeah. uh, on the whole population that sure. you got here. But that's my understanding. So, is, so with no queen, then they're not expected to survive the winter. They will not survive okay. the winter. Why? Why does the queen make a difference? Well, for them surviving. Well, so so the queen right right about now mm -hmm. i would say she's gonna lay so these bees last 30 or 40 days they mm -hmm. live 30 or 40 days that's it and then they die mm -hmm. so even though the queen's laying um depends on who you ask 1500 eggs a day um mm -hmm. so so theoretically you're gaining 1500 bees every day yeah um you're also losing maybe that's a thousand right. maybe yeah. a thousand because they're dying mm -hmm. they're just that is so these only these are summer bees okay so the, they don't have the winter physiology, they call it. Sure. So the bees that they lay, when she starts laying eggs, and how this happens, I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows. She's able to somehow produce a different type of bee that's able to last Survive the winter. months. Okay. You know, be able to live months. Ah, interesting. Um, and so because of that, these bees will all die um, Got it. before, before that. Able, okay. Before that happens. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right, which one are we so, on? So, right I think so. This one? Yeah, it looks like the other one is not separated. All the guys. Some larva in there, but again, they look like the other ones did where they're, and it might just be folded in half too, curled up in there, so it looks like two, I don't know. Okay. I can't tell. <clears throat> yeah, like that one looks like there's only one, but it folded in half. Type thing. The sweat running down my forehead makes me think I have a bee on me. <laughs> I don't see one. <laughs> yeah, these are pretty, this is pretty calm, so. Yeah, I... yeah, this is pretty chill compared to what they've been in the past. <laughs> Your calming presence has them relaxed. <laughs> Something. <laughs> so there's one climbing out of the, climbing out a little hole. Oh, a couple, couple yeah. Of them climbing out of the. Emerging, yeah. yeah. They're trying to get out at least. Uh -huh. Hate to scrape those guys off there, but. So how can you tell if there's two larvae in there, Steve? I don't, how... I don't know. Oh, okay. I mean, I like I, I can't. I haven't seen it ever. I've seen the two eggs in there. I haven't. Oh, actually I see seen... what you're saying. Um, I, I see goo at the bottom. I can't tell how many. Eggs. How many larvae in there? Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah that's a good question. The, hmm. When they're really young, it just looks like a puddle of that. Yeah, I mean, there's all sorts of <laughs> there's all sorts of bees in here. I mean, larvae. Yeah, all kinds of different stages. Uh huh. And it's like trying to count chickens, you know, if they just stand still for 15 seconds, I could count how many chickens I have, but <laughs> they won't stand still. It makes things difficult. Yeah, usually by this point, they're just bouncing off my mask and what? stuck all over my hands. So and honestly, things like, well, maybe the temperature, but things like we were really control, like, and again, I just had to learn this the hard way and you have people scold me and say, hey man, like you're in the, you're just destructo in the hive, man. Like, sure. like if you're way more controlled, like we did, mm -hmm. pull, pull a frame out. Oftentimes I used to just go right to the middle and pop a frame out in the middle. Sure. And you're rolling bees and, I and they're all mad. Half of them. Yeah, they're all yeah. mad at you. And so if we come in controlled, you know, they may be mad anyway and you can't, you can't yeah. do anything about that, but. Um, Should I scrape this off? Sure. Does it really matter at this point? Yeah, you can clean up. I see there's some bees coming out emerging. Should we just leave them? And I, I don't know, man. It's yeah, like one, I, one, one, I, one bee. I, I, I would just clean them up. Okay. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> just trying to help here. So, should we give, give you half a chance? 
Oh goodness. That's okay. We'll get it Bye. later. Or we won't and they'll, they'll clean they'll, it up. They'll deal with it. Oh shit. No big deal. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Get the next one. Wanna put it back or you want to get the next no, one? No, you can just get the next one. Give you some more room. Yeah, I'm probably coming in too hot and terrorizing them. That's probably why they hate me. A little more honey on this one. We're getting closer to the edge though, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good, clean. You yeah. see the difference in comb. Yeah. <clears throat> so that when when you have a nice frame, oftentimes a nice frame of brood, they will often still have honey, like kind of a honey cap around it. Sure. Um, I think it's because they have resources to feed the, like right there to feed sure. the, the babies as they're, <clears throat> so. Oh, sorry. At least you didn't let go in my boot or something. <laughs> <laughs> Boots covered up. I'll get that. Or would we take that guy? That guy come out yet? I don't remember. No, I didn't. We'll just get a little look at it. What else we can see here? So this, I feel like, is a frame. Oh, that's all honey. Like you can feel it just lift oh, it yeah, up. Yeah, you can see. That one looks a lot better than the one on this end did. Yeah, this is pretty new. I think this is probably one of mine, and I can tell that because I didn't, I didn't glue them. Oh, okay. You nailed yeah. them. Yeah, well, and that's a problem because they come apart. Mm. Yeah, I, you said something about that in your other no, video. Yeah, yeah. They, and it's a mess. And now, now I've got them in hives and they're coming apart. And yeah, I, have, I had that happen with a couple of them. Yeah. That's so, really hard to get them back in. And Yeah, and what I should do is, I, I think it'd be okay, is go back in at some point, keep some glue with me. And when they come apart, just glue them together and throw them back in the, I mean, I don't think that I that think would... think they're going to glue with the wax on there? Yeah, I thought... Oh, are they going to glue together very well? Yeah, I think I the wax is going to keep if from, you can, from if sticking. You can, yeah, right. If you can get just contact between that, you know, down yeah. in there, in that little crook, you know, where this... Yeah. If you can get... I'm hoping... You're right. There's wax. There's propolis all, all in there, so... Yeah. It may not may not work, stick, but yeah. I was I keep thinking I should at least bring some yeah. and just try it because well, you could bring a little Dremel and clean off a section and glue could it and try, put it back yeah, together. Yeah, you could try something like that. Yeah. That might really be, piss them off. It'd be interesting to see what the bees' reaction to yeah. a Dremel tool going on in there. <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice that's a nice frame of honey. Well, that's really nice. One positive. So how much honey do you think you get off that? A pound, uh, a pound that's or two. That's a great. That's a great. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, probably, I don't know, two okay. pounds, maybe even Roughly. more. Okay. I've never done, that would be something to try. Yeah, just, curious just how spin much out one and see one. how much you get. That'd be a interesting. Do you usually spin out, so I've never seen how you, I've never even gotten that far to look and see how you get the honey out of the, Yeah. So I, I they spin them on something, but. Last year I bought an extract, like a, an electric ex okay. extractor. Um, oh, that was something I was going to bring. I have a hand crank extractor okay. that I can give you. Okay. It spins two frames at a time. Okay. Um, you just scrape those, you scrape the wax off, yep. the cappings off, um, and then you just spin them and then hmm. the honey just comes out. Swings out, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen people, today I saw a video of somebody using a, a heat gun to get the caps off. I've seen that too. I don't, to I don't. I don't know what happens when you careful. melt when you melt the wax if it gets yeah. into the honey. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Interesting. I have seen that too. All right. Um, so we got one. We got to put back in. Still right. Yeah. This guy has to go back in. Yeah. Sure. Um, or no. Well. And yeah. Not, not much on it. So we we just have to decide what we're going to do with this hive. Okay. 
because um, we're confident that we have l the laying worker issue here. Okay. So we're not going to be able to leave. I think you're going to end up for the rest of the year. You're going you're gonna to end up with one hive. Okay. So I think we'll probably end up combining these. Okay. Um, but I I do want to research the best way to do it. Sure. Like I said, so that I don't so we don't put a bunch of bees Kill in there both that, of them. that think that that is a invading or a sure. foreign, foreign queen and kill kill her so okay. so i think i think it's the new newspaper combined is the best way to do that but okay. so yeah whatever if we can just kind of throw this back together for right now okay and just we'll look at the other hive and see yeah this oh. is the this is the one problem the goes. with not having smoke is that you end up sacrificing some yeah yeah, well, not too bad. Get the dumb ones. <laughs> the dumb I guess. ones. Yeah, so we just set this on the... Am I doing anything with this guy? Yeah, if you think... Um, yeah, we'll just shake that... Shake it off. And... Well, so you got all that wax yet, so let's put the wax where you want to keep it, wherever you want to put it. Well, we don't need this anymore, We don't need right? that anymore because we don't actually have a queen, so we don't need to exclude anybody. <clears throat> and this is all... Wax that you could take, take well. too, so. Lots of honey in there. Yeah. Oh, I want to taste it. <laughs> it's too chicken to take my stuff off to do it. Oh, you can do it later. Yeah. I make good video. Uh, you're looking. You got loads of honey right here. Yeah. <laughs> it is cool. Uh-huh. To think that they, these little guys do that. I know. much work. Sorry guys. One purpose in life. All of this we're not using anymore, right? We can just set this. Okay, so we don't need. Yeah, this is our cover. Mm. No, so we, we do put this on before that, then. What's that? This this does go on there. I yeah I um I wouldn't worry about it because I like I said we're I gonna think we're gonna shake. Up. Okay. So I'd shake those bees over. Just just shake it. Yeah. And if you want to get uh, um, some more of those smoke repellents, just in case this hive is is hotter. Okay. Yeah, I'll run right up there and grab them. Yeah, and I'll just kind of. 